Okay guys, I'm preparing for a shipment of new fish that I'm getting tomorrow from Dandy Randas. And this is my little corner of my fish room here. This is the 127 gallon tub. And this is the 60 gallon tub. And Luca and Felix are in there right now. They've been in there for the past few weeks and they're doing pretty well in there. They seem to like it. And they made a little clearing of sand where the, underneath the auto feeder. Because that's where they're always foraging since the food is dropping down right there. <laughs> so anyways, I'm preparing for my new shipment of fish that I'm getting tomorrow by draining this tub and filling it up. And this tub has been cycling fishless for the past month or two. Um, I started it by, let's see, one of the sponge filters in there was running in the sump of my 75 gallon tank for a few months. And then when I filled up this tub with water and dechlorinated it the first time, I put one of the filters, one of the sponge filters in there and started running it. So that sort of seeded it with some beneficial bacteria from the main tank. But that wasn't quite enough, so I added several packets of ceramic media from the main tank as well. That's what those white things are sitting on top of the sponge filters. And one fell down. So uh, even that wasn't quite enough to handle a whole cap full of pure ammonia in 24 hours. So I just was slowly letting it build up over time. Um, I was adding about a cap full of ammonia every every week or so. Um, and the cycle has been getting stronger gradually over that time. So it should be pretty much ready for fish now. It's 127 gallons and I'm getting like four or five fish. So um, I'm not totally sure how much ammonia they're going to be producing, and I'm not going to be feeding them very much to begin with, so they're going to be producing less ammonia than they normally would. So I think it'll be less than one ppm ammonia in 24 hours that the fish are producing. So the cycle in here should be able to handle them. And I'm, of course, going to be testing it every, testing the water every day to make sure, and probably doing daily water changes as I am able to anyways for the first week or so just because right after shipping fish can especially goldfish can be pretty stressed out and having fresh clean water every day can really help them so but to start with I am draining it completely and then I'm going to refill it completely with fresh water and dechlorinate it to get all ready for the fish to get here tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon sometime. I'm getting I think two a male and female larger uh, butterfly telescopes and then one male butterfly telescope that's also larger but he's missing one eye because of an injury. So um, I'm giving that one a good home and he's still going to be a good um, good option as a breeder fish because the missing eye isn't a genetic thing, so, you know, it was just an injury, so it's not like his fry are going to have missing eyes or anything. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also getting, I think, two younger butterflies that are a little bit smaller. So, it's going to be very exciting, and this is going to be plenty of space for them. It's going to be perfect. And eventually I might put these two in with all of them, all the other ones as well, so they can all spawn together but I'm I'm not I'm I just have to evaluate what I have I guess once they get here and see which ones I want to be the main breeders and then I'll decide from there two hours later all right so it's all finished draining and refilling and that looks like it's gonna be lots of space for my new fish and I added this little fake um, Fancy Plants Giant Bamboo Plant. Actually, it's being sold by Marine Land now, but yeah. When I bought it, it was Fancy Plants. 
and just to give them a little bit of cover and something to hide under if they want to. It's not all that much cover because it's all I had right now. This is just part of that plant too. The other part is being used in that tank. So. But it's just a little something for them I figured. And I have this board sitting there on the corner because that's where I'm going to put the auto feeder. But I only have two auto feeders and they're already being used in other tubs and tanks. Like I have that one set up there, so I'm going to do something similar over here, right there. But I still have to order another one. Alright, so I'll probably do an update um, tomorrow when they get here or sometime soon after that. If it's not by done by tomorrow, it'll be sometime soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching.